Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today we're going to open a bottle of champagne using port tongues. Possibly one of the greatest ways to open a bottle of champagne is with Sabre and I have a video on that. Make sure to check it out as well, I will link it here. But there are other fun ways to open a bottle of champagne and one of the most exciting ones is using port tongues. It will require a little bit more inventory than Sabraj though. Naturally, you will need a bottle of champagne or any other sparkling wine with enough pressure in the bottle, port tongs, fireplace or this portable gas stove, non-flammable plate and iced water. First things first, and that is safety. I have talked about the importance of safety measures in my video of Sabraj. And the same applies here. Make sure your champagne bottle is well chilled. Do not shake the bottle before you open it. Do not place the bottle where trajectory of flying cork might harm you, your family or friends, animals, or for example, expensive lamp. In some ways, opening bottle of champagne using port tongues is even safer than with saber because the bottle is not placed in your hands and the trajectory of the flying cork is upward instead of the angle. However, it does involve fire and a glow metal that can cause severe burns to anyone who touches it. So if possible, do it outside. Tidy around the place where you're going to open bottle and make sure you do not have any easy flammable things such as paper tissues or dry flowers. Prepare the plate where to place hot port tongues so you do not ruin your table or catch something on fire. As opening champagne this way also includes pouring water on the champagne bottle, make sure you're doing that on the surface that you do not mind getting wet. Let's start! Place the bottle of champagne on the plate and remove the foil capsule, but leave the wire cage on. Prepare the water with ice. You can simply mix water and ice in the glass, or if you are worried that water will create a lot of mess, you can use water and ice mix in this water spray. It is important for water to be ice cold, so you can create that sudden temperature change to remove the cork. If you are planning to use fireplace, it should be well lit by now. If, like me, you're going to use portable gas stove, you should light it now. Put the port tongues in the fire and wait at least 3 to 4 minutes or until the metal is aglow. This will take some time. When the metal is hot enough, place it around the neck of the bottle. Make sure it heats up the neck in full radius. This again will take some time approximately 30 seconds. Remove the port tongues, which will still be very, very hot. Place them on safe surface next to you, but make sure that you or your clothes do not touch them. Pour the ice water on the hot neck of the bottle of champagne and leave your face out of the trajectory of the flying cork. And off flies the cork. Cheers. I hope you liked my video. Make sure to watch my other video on how to open a bottle of champagne using Sabre.